Warning, this content is not for kids. If you're a kid, f*** off. It's all misty. It's all misty. And that's the mist coming in. So hopefully it gets thicker than this. What's this? Eh? Is that like gorillas in the mist? But it's Jack Russell's in the mist. I love it. Well, I did tell you last time I was only going home to get supplies. I'm coming back again. And I'm back again. There's not too much wind noise just now, but that's because uh, there's no wind. <laughs> a wee bit. If there's any wind noise, I do apologise, but I'm stopping just so you can... I'll shut my face for a second and everybody just enjoy the noise of the, the water. Right, that's enough. I've got camping to do. Apparently, uh, Tentsmuir is named Tentsmuir because the Vikings settled here. They set their tents up on the muir. There's the muir. Which means they didn't have enough bottle to go just across the river. And people swim this all the time, so it's not that far. And there's an old man that canoes from Broughty Ferry. Oh, that's another story. That's another story. But it just means the Vikings didn't want to settle in Dundee because they don't want to fuck with us. There's Alan in the distance sniffing another dog's bum. It's a dog's life, is it? I'm much sniffy zoners here. <laughs> Weirdo. What, imagine wanting to sniff my bum, man. What's he thinking? What's up? What's up, little furry boy? Let's go. Run, Alan. Get Jamie. Attack. Attack. Yes. Trained him well. Now listen for the blood curdling screams. Time now. Anytime now. Three, two. No, oh, he didn't attack. Oh well. Yay! <laughs> you come to check on me, yeah? Right, come on then, let's go. I'm coming this time. Oh, you able bodied people making me feel inferior. The footage you're watching right now is courtesy of General Swerve. Because my camera slipped out my strap. I have a strap on. The camera slipped out it. Didn't even feel it. Eh, uh, Jamie noticed it straight away. And then handed it to me. In my complete surprise. Because it still felt like the camera was there. But anyway, we're back at the Christmas spot. We need to find that safe way in. Safe way. I shop co-op. I hate shopping co-op though, they're robbing bastards. Remember what I was saying last time? Right there, that's me dead. And right at the foot of that tree. Man, Jamie was never surviving that. That's like a whole tree, boss, on your matter. And then the other one there, that was Harris. The point, <laughs> yeah. Hey, your poncho, your army issue poncho would have stopped that. No bother. <laughs> but even if the tree didn't have crush you, all the branches, they're, they're impaling you. You're getting stabbed. Scary. Just over there, look. That's the water. That's why we like this spot, because you can hear the water, and you can hear your fire, and who doesn't enjoy listening to a fire and water at the same time? That's the Christmas spot. We're back at the Christmas, no, that's the Christmas spot. That's the sneaky camp stealth spot. Did anybody notice this the last time? Oh man, and that's full of tree sap. It's all nice and, oh, it's nice and sticky. I just realized it's sticky. Now my hands are gonna be sticky all night. Oh, I can't touch you now. Oh man. <laughs> Alan, come here, let me touch you. <laughs> I 
That's how sticky my hat. Oh shit. I've got food to cook. This is the spot where I'm putting my tent for the night and I was uh, about to clear it of all these pine needles because I don't want a fire, forest fire happening but uh, I remember I'm not going to have my fire right next to my tent anyway the fire's going to be there in the open space in between the trees because we don't need yeah I know what I'm doing I know what I'm doing so I'm just going to kick more pine needles down into this area where my my body's going to be lying now as some insulation you see some extra insulation Jack Russell's in the mist so we're running out of daylight here which is just exactly how we like it so let's go and see what Hotel Kent looks like tonight there's my Bergen, nice and snugly packed it. Perfect size, man, perfect size. Let's get a wee, let's get a better look at that. We're up that hill, we're up the sneaky, sneaky hill. Of course, now you know where the camping, the Christmas camp is, then it's no uh, secret whatsoever where I am right now. So, catch it all here next time, but for now, Look at that man, nice and cozy, nice and cozy. One of those sleeping mats underneath it. And my sleeping bag was a four season sleeping bag and a sleeping bag liner inside there which I think I'm going to need to take out halfway through the night. I'm going to wake up and take the liner out because it'll be too hot. And then I've got Wee Joyce there. Wee Joyce, we've got Wee Joyce. And over there. General Swear was putting up his basher. I don't know what's what's better, like shining the torch on it right now or just leaving it like that. I might keep the torch for uh, when it actually gets officially dark. I thought I picked a sneaky wee spot, like no I, cause it's my sneaky wee spot. Two people just strolled right through it right through I climbed up a steep hill to get there as well right in there there he is wee white dot that's a full moon I knew you were never going to see it properly through there uh, through the slimes where did Alan go there he is he'll find his way back this general swells bed for the night under the basher as always expect nothing less oh, that's a nice I never even noticed that you had your own improvised uh, tent pole thing there going on. Oh, it is on. 
in the tent is as if to say, this is where all the food is. Why are we not in the tent? I haven't really shown you so much. Uh, see, there's a tent. There's a sleeping arrangement. You can't really tell because it's dark, but there's a fire and there's a pot of mints. And here's some rolls. I might have some mince rolls in the woods while enjoying a fire and Alan's begging for mince rolls. Doesn't look like he's begging for mince rolls, eh? I said mince rolls. Man, I wish you could all join me right now. Let me put this, put this torch out. There we go. I suppose that shows you how stealthy we are. That's a tiny wee fire. Wait, duck. And here is the closest point where somebody's going to see it. Like we're at the top of the hill. So, and that's Jamie's head torch. So you can't even see the fire. So from that direction, ain't nobody seeing shit. Love it. What are you excited about? Leave no trace. <laughs> There's where we were. But you knew that. Hey, let's go home, Alan. Home is where the heart is. It was actually a really, really enjoyable sleep. I've never had a terrible sleep in Tensmuir. Never had a terrible sleep in Tensmuir. Look at the size of that hole. Meh. <laughs> Stop it. Now, did that used to be a rabbit hole that a dog's tried to chase a rabbit down and dug it out? It's not a fox's den. It can't be a fox's den. Not on the actual public footpath. Foxes are clever. But that's gigantic, man. Look at it. I could fit in there. Cut to me fitting in there. <laughs> I'll never get out. <laughs> I'll never get out again. Anyway, you could tell which way the storm was blowing, eh? It was heading south for sure. Heading south for the winter. Dang, man. Oh, look. These wee holly bushes. May you grow into a giant, strong tree, little holly bush. You've got some big shoes to fill. We just hung around another 10 minutes at the camping spot. That big rig getting pulled in. That would be coming right past us. I can't get any further because of the because of that.
pretty cool, pretty cool. <laughs> See these wide angled lenses on these action cameras. It makes everything look miles away, does it? And the tide's out as well, so that's getting brought in through the shallowest of waters. Yeah, it's no moving very fast. <laughs> I can't imagine it would be moving. <laughs> yeah, let's see how fast we can pull this oil rig up the river. Um, if I've got enough time, once it gets to here, I'll film it again. If I don't, then that's the end of the video. See you in the comments. Ta-ta!